Hey Popcorn Cake Crew, I am so happy to be with you because guess what guys? This is going to be another special dedication. Today we are going to dedicate The Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl to my dear friend Miss Brenda D and her family. She has the most wonderful family and she has really good recipes. Miss Brenda, I went out and bought some Kool-Aid. I bought some pickles and I started eating everything and drinking everything. I never did get to making my Kool-Aid pickles, but I saw your family celebrating and eating those things. I want some, Miss Brenda. I love you so much. And grandbabies and daughters and grandsons and sons, you all are so fortunate to have Miss Brenda D. in your family. You're a wonderful mom, wife, sister, auntie, grandma, everything. I wish we were neighbors because I just want to give you a big hug. I love you dearly and I hope your family enjoys this book. I chose the Hungry Caterpillar because every time I look at your recipes, I'm like the Hungry Caterpillar in this story. You'll see what I mean. Are you ready? Well, before we get started, guys, what do we always do? We have to say to ourselves, I am the greatest. Let me hear you say, I am the greatest. There you go. Have you been doing that every day, guys? I'm sure you have. Are you ready to get into this story? It's a fun story. Here we go. I think you're gonna like this story. One thing about this story is, this caterpillar puts little holes in everything. You all, he's so hungry. Hungry Caterpillar. Oh, it's so cute. I'm excited to share this with you already. You're going to enjoy this story. I'll make sure you see the pictures. I'll make sure. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Look. Look at the moon. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Look guys. Can you see him? Look. He's so little. Look at him. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. Look at that. He left a hole in the apple. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. But he was still hungry. Wow. Look at that. What comes next? Yes. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. But he was still hungry. Oh my goodness. That little caterpillar. So hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. But what, guys? He was still hungry. Look. Four strawberries. He left holes in everything. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. But he was still hungry. 
five oranges. Are you enjoying this story? Have you heard this before? Miss Brenda, have your grandbabies heard this story before? You gotta let me know what they're saying, okay guys? Let me know if you like it. Oh my god, look at all this. Let's see what he on Saturday he ate through. Are you ready? Look at all this. One piece of chocolate cake. One ice cream cone. One pickle. Was it a Kool-Aid pickle? One slice of Swiss cheese. One slice of salami. One lollipop. Mmm. One piece of cherry pie. One sausage. One cupcake. And one slice of watermelon. Oh my gosh. That looks so good. I think I want to get a piece of Miss Brenda D. Have some. You can have some. I know you like to share. Ready to move on? Let's go. If you want some, you can have some. Miss Brenda D shares all the time. She cooks meals for her family and friends all the time. And I feel like this little caterpillar, because everything she makes, I want all of it. Here we go. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Look at that. Look what he did. Hey guys, what's happening to the caterpillar? Look at him. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. <gasps> Look what. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and... Look, look, he was a beautiful butterfly. Wow, the end. Miss Brenda D, I had to share this book with you because every time I see your recipes, I feel like that little caterpillar. And I want to have everything you've made. You have such a blessed family to have you in their lives. I love you. And I'm so honored to dedicate this story to you. I hope I get to meet you one day. And YouTube family, I hope you all visit her page. She's a wonderful woman. Miss Brenda D. Like we always do on Popcorn Kit. We give you a hug, a kiss, peace, and love. See you soon. Thank you, everybody. And Miss Brenda D, thank you so much. See you soon.